Dude, this might be the worst lie I've ever seen on a golf course. And ever. We've had some bad lies. I've on had the terrible show. lies. Dude, what do you do here? <laughs> <laughs> this is a disaster. You. Hey guys, today we're at the beautiful Springdale Golf Club in Princeton, New Jersey, and today we are going to be playing in the fourth annual Golficity Virtual Open. And the good news is you can play too. There are tons of great door prizes. We're gonna tell you how to play in just a minute, but let's hit that first tee and kick this tournament off right now. All right, maybe got a little too conservative off the tee. Tried to play a hybrid on this short hole and push it a little bit left, bit blocked out. But anyway, I want to tell you guys about this Golf Fisty Virtual Open. Maybe some of you have played in it before. In fact, I know a lot of you have played in it in previous years, but if you're new to it, you can go to golffisty.com slash open to register. It is a virtual tournament. You can play anywhere, anywhere in the world, your home course. And we use the 18 Birdies app for the scoring. And we tried to keep it as easy as possible to enter. So you can use the free version of the app. It's free to play. And anybody who plays is eligible for those great door prizes, which we'll tell you about more in a minute, but I got to hit the shot. Working it, working it, run up there. Good shot shape there, nice shot. All right, it would be nice to start off my GBO round with a birdie, let's go. Turn, start turning, start turning. Oh, it was dead straight. Ah. Wow, what a cool look this is off this second tee with Princeton University there in the background. Really, really picturesque call here. What a view you got ahead of you what there, huh? Was right, huh? How cool is that? This is a cool hole. Yeah. All right, man, you dancing. Three putt, down the leaderboard I go. So I just want to give a quick nod to Springdale. I mean, how beautiful is this place? You see Prince in there in the background. In fact, lots of history here too. This course is over 100 years old. It was first founded by some alumni, some staff, and some undergrads from Princeton. They formed, I think it was the Princeton Golf Club, and they, they bought this land, which was originally a, a farm. It was farmland, and they first converted it to nine holes and then expanded on it, but just a beautiful course. You can see some of the, uh, the Princeton dorms here, not too far, and, and anybody who who's, goes to Princeton can get a reduced student rate. I tell you what, if, if I was going to Princeton, and, Trust me, I'm not getting in there, but if, if I was going there, I'd be here every afternoon, that's for sure. But beautiful, beautiful course, challenging course. Fat, we're finding the greens to be very fast. If you got a downhill putt, it gets slippery quick. Um, but it's a lot of fun, it's just a beautiful course. Definitely worth a look if you're here in that Princeton area. All right, we got our first part three here. It's a really interesting one way down the hill. So you gotta take at least one club off here. No wind to speak of, hot day, no wind, but it is downhill. Let's go. Out again. It's really good, man. One hop on. Roll down now. Now roll down. Good shot. Look at this guy, he says, what bunker? Gets it right over. Hopefully what bunker? on down. What bunker? All right, I'll tell you what, I'd kill to put a birdie on the scorecard here, but these downhill putts, they're gonna be the story of the day. They are slippery here at Springdale. Yo, I feel like if, if we were in a fraternity, this would be our house. <laughs> right right? Here. Like right here on the tee box. Absolutely, T-box. man. That's it right here. Yeah. That oh, would be a disaster. The, the golficity fraternity house. That's yeah. what we need. Uh, and this green would be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, one of the questions we get inevitably every year has to do with the scoring. So first and foremost, you're going to enter in your gross scores. We're going to use the Peoria system for handicapping. So it'll calculate a handicap based on your score of the day. And that way we get our net leaderboard. Now, of course, look, guys, it's golf. You're on your honor. It's a game of honor. So 
and to the right score. But one thing I will say is the surprises are not tied to score. So there's no incentive to cheat. We're out here to have fun. We're gonna, we're gonna put down the right score on the card. So you're on your honor, enter the right scores. And like I said, as long as you play and you register, you're eligible for those door prizes. Absolutely, and I'm gonna tell you about the prizes in a second, but first, we got a par putt. Yes. And it's close, we're not giving it to him because we're playing tournament rules here. So here we go. Yeah! Good par, man. So yeah, guys, enter those scores, gross scores, we'll have net scores as well. He went pin hunting there too, huh? Right after it. So this is the oh, this is the golf is virtual open. Let's go. Through, man. He's going after pins. Are you, I mean, are you actually debating a Texas wedge here? It's 90 You're, to the middle, but 90, <laughs> 90 yards. But, but it's 60. We got 68 front, and that's right in my wheelhouse with a nice backstop. Give this guy a flat, tight line. The putter comes out. Let's Unbelievable. go. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> It's not going to get halfway there. It's a lot of grass, it's dude. It's a hundred yard putt. You're trying to putt the ball a hundred yards. I thought I got cocky. You know, you win it three times, two times, you get cocky. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Now this is more acceptable. Is Texas wedge. Up the slope and down the slope. Here it comes. Come on. Come on. Despite all that, you still got a par putt. Still the par putt. It looks flat. It's down the hill. All right. We just send it to a home. Send it home. Down a hill, still gotta hit it. You realize you went driver, putter, 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 putter. putter. Four putt, four putt bogey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just wanted to explain some of the prizes. I don't know if you saw our announcement video previously where we actually showed you all of the prizes, but more have been coming in. So some of the bigger ticket items, the Rapsodo MLM, that's the mobile launch monitor. It's a $500 value device. Uh, one lucky winner is going to get an OptiShot sim in a box too. Yes, that's right. Your own golf simulator for your home, your garage, your backyard, whatever. We've got a gift card to sub 70. Uh, I'm probably missing some big ones, but there's, and they keep coming in and coming in and coming in. So guys, get into the open and play because like Frank said, you don't need to place to win. All right, I need a birdie bad on this ninth. Oh yeah, it's gonna have a nice little spin on it too. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, dude. How you save a par after a terrible approach shot. Nice shot. I went for it. You man. did. All right, guys, making the turn on 10 here. Like I said, having a lot of fun with those live leaderboards, entering the score as we go. I shot 40 on the front, Mike shot 42. Very happy with those scores. Those are good scores for us. Um, and like I said here, I mean, really is coming down to a lot of those strokes are around these greens, difficult greens. So you got to try to hit that green, but really just getting used to those undulations and, and kind of giving them a look of where they're going to roll is where there's going to be a difference in score here. But let's kick it off on the back nine. See if we can uh, keep this par streak going. Oh, that's gonna work nicely on this hole. Wow, it's a, that's a blast. You got through, you're in a green side trap. That's <laughs> I guess of all the things that could happen, that's not the worst. That's not bad, man. Hey, if you told me I'd be walking out of here with a par after being where I was on that tee shot, I would have never believed you, but I just saved myself with that sand. Got a little tapping par pot here. Got a little lucky. Let's not lie, I got a little lucky. Nice shot. No, I can't That's complain. Right that there. is a shot right there. A little nine iron pin high. I get nervous with these fast greens. Yeah, easy to have happen. All right, threes are good. Threes are good. What a drive. Hey, what'd that measure out at? That made like 270, 260 even. 258. Yep, all right, beauty. It's good for me, I like that. And that is a great shot, and it only leaves you with 200 left on this short five, so 
Hey man, just get it up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that tree helped you nicely. Yeah, hit that tree. All right. Not okay. a bad place to be in too on a five. Yeah, I'll take it. He does not want to leave two birdie putts short in a row here. Oh, that was a good run. Good effort. Yeah, thanks. All right, this is the shortest par three we've had out here. I just fired that pin at 118. Ah, nice. Nice and short from the tips back here. I say it's got a little backstop too if you're long. Okay. Find a piece, find a piece. Long. Long. Roll back towards that hole. Here it comes. Here it comes. Don't stop on that hill. Let's go. Hey, man, beauty. This dude is on to something. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. Finally, the birdie. You got one. Man, finally a birdie. Especially if it felt good with that roll down the hill. Finally get to enter one on the scorecard. Let's Minus go. one on the back, man. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. Let's go. Oh, that's going to pay off nicely. Yeah. You'll be a short 50 yard wedge out from there. Wow. Woo. Love that. That's it. That's, that's a shot. That's Got a it. shot. Got it. That's how you do it. Tell you what, I almost hold it. One of the better bunker shots there. Gave it a good run at it. So close. Birdie time, let's go. Drain this birdie. But you know what, it did want to go that way it at the did. end. Yeah. I'm so afraid to hit it downhill. Yep, yep, yep. Yup, yup, yup. No way. Yup. <laughs> oh, oh. Told you you had a window. That was about 70% luck, 30% skill. <laughs> yeah, there it is, good putt. Sometimes guys, the golf gods just shine on you. Got away with that uh, miss off that approach and somehow was able to get on the green and through those trees. So the par streak continues, baby. Let's go. Lost it. What happened? You went in uh, Kappa Delta <laughs> Theta's backyard? <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Look at all these chairs back here. Looks like a cool hangout. Yeah, is but your ball over there? I think it's over there. It's white stakes. Unfortunately, that's why I hit a provisional off the tee. So I'm hitting four from the fairway. Try to up and down, get out of here with a five or six at worst. Good recovery. My work. All right, I can putt that. There it is. There it is, get up there. Yeah, I think you're dancing. Ooh, I flew it. Did you fly it? I flew it, believe it or not. Dude, this might be the worst lie I've ever seen on a golf course. And ever. We've had some bad lies. I've in had the terrible show. lies. Dude, what do you do here? <laughs> <laughs> this is a disaster. You flew it directly into that thing. Oh, let's get up and close on this. You would almost not even know that there's a golf ball there. I, I mean, I don't know what to do. I mean, just to give you guys the scale of what's going on here. We've got this and then we've got that. There's the flag, guys, just so you know, and he's going that way. I got it. This is the only player area where I can even put a swing on. You got it out. Wow. That's all you can do. That's really it. I'm glad you got it out. I thought wow. that was rolling back to your feet. All right, guys, we got two holes to play, and that, that hole was a tough pill to swallow for both of us. Between Mike going OB off the tee and me getting just caught up in that disaster of a bunker lie. I, I literally have never had a ball that buried in a bunker before. But it is what it is. You take your lumps, you try to just bounce back. So I had a double, I had a triple bogey there. Mike had a double bogey, but we have two holes left. Let's see what we can do to come back a little bit. Great out. <laughs> That's the furthest anyone's ever hit from a greenside bunker, Mike. Yeah. That might be the furthest. That's right, 
right, it's a green side bunker. Yeah. I'm thinking fairway bunker. Right. All right, I'm happy about that. I pushed my drive left into a green side bunker on another hole, and it ended up being my fairway bunker on this par five. So I moved it all the way back to the fairway. Probably only gonna have less than 100 in on a par five. So super happy. Somebody hit a ball 170 yards out of a green side bunker. <laughs> there it is right there. Recovery, right? It's a great looking shot all around. Race it against the clock. The dance on the clock. It. Here it comes. All right, let's get out of here. Woo! We just <laughs> saw my approach shot. Oh, Dude, stuck man. it! I stopped it. Holy! That's a tap in. That's a tap in birdie, that's baby. A tap in birdie. On a 570 yard par five. That is how you bounce back after a triple. Wow. 575 yard par five. Dude, I got tap in birdie. That. That is how I will lay my head on the pillow tonight and sleep well after that. Even though I tripled the last. Bounce backs feel good. <laughs> nice job. That birdie feels good. Nice. It feels so good to, to bounce back after a triple. All right, 18 here. Just liking the spot on the leaderboard. We're gonna have to see where we finish. And I tell you what, who knows? You may be even following this live as we're recording it. That's what we love about that live leaderboard, but you guys gotta get on it. Like I said, go to golfacy.com slash open, get registered, all the details are there. It's so simple to do. You guys can play your round any time in the whole month of August. You have to the last day of August. You could, if you're watching this on the last day of August, you could sign up right now and go play golf and still be in it and have a chance at those great prizes Mike talked about before. But we got a short, very, as Mike likes to say, feastable par four here, 300 yards. Are you this ready? Is the 18th hole of the GBO, I'm going for it. 310, I'm probably not gonna get home, but I'm just trying to get as close to that green as I can. Let's go. Yeah, man. Wow. So what's wild is if I make a birdie here, I tie my best score ever. I don't, I'm not the type of guy who usually like to look at the scorecard ahead of time because I get nervous, but uh, you can't help but look at it when you're playing in the Golf Fantasy Virtual Open. And actually kind of a cool story. A couple of you have already messaged us. We've already got, we're only just a little bit into August. We've already got uh, over a couple hundred rounds logged in the, in the GVO. And a couple of you had messaged saying you shot your lowest round ever. So I want to join that club. Not enough. That's a birdie putt. It's a long, 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 long birdie putt. Oh, nice touch. He's got his read. He's going at it. Turn. Wasn't going to leave it short. No, nah, you couldn't leave it short. bogey to end it on fourth annual gbo in the books guys don't forget to sign up and play this is fun i love being on the leaderboard man great round dude yeah three putt in the last was not exactly what i wanted to do but happy with the score that was a lot of fun you guys got to do it too like mike said sign up golfisty.com open we'll see you guys there